Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second week of the Halloween Spotlight Collab Challenge, you guys. Oh yeah, we want to see it. If you missed week one where we did American Horror Story, guys, go ahead and catch up. But right now, this week, I'm going to be making myself some press-ons. So I've already prepped, which just means I got rid of the surface shine with a buffer. And now I'm going to be applying a very thin coat of Gershon's base coat and curing for 30 seconds. I think this is super necessary. Definitely want to help with the surface that you'll be preparing for nail art. Right after that, I will be applying a very beautiful holographic glitter from Lavender Violets. It's number one in their glitter pack that they sell on Amazon and I'll be doing a full one coat coverage on all 10 nails. I would definitely like to take the time to introduce you guys to Nayeli from Nayeli Nailed It here on YouTube. Um, she's such an amazing artist, mother, strong woman, individual supporter. So guys, go and show her some love. I love her, so show her some love. I sent you, go ahead, do your thing. So I am going to be doing a little bit of Sally and Jack, very little, minute, because this is technically a trend and I hate trends. So what am I gonna do? Make it mine. So I top coated with a bit of matte and we're going to use these colors here. Again, I'm not gonna do a product list, it's super long. Just bust out your favorite colors similar to these and get cracking. I will be creating a side French with the black and then filling this in. So guys, be sure to hop on Nail Nailed It on Instagram. Show her some follows, like, the pictures of course of her wonderful art speaking of pictures i love this cloud and rhinestone look and also the cows the cow prints come on you guys this is worth the love and the commenting and the sharing for sure as well as the following as well as the subscribing um please go show her some love she's really done so much to support us over the last few months so yeah so I am filling out the rest of this French with different colors. You'll see purple and green on a thumb as well as a pinky, as well as yellow and orange on a thumb as well as a pinky. And um, you're gonna start seeing where the Jack and the Sally part comes into play here. And as I'm filling these in, once I'm done, I will do a full cure for 60 seconds, you guys. So on the black area, we're gonna do those classic white stripes that Jack has. And there you see it, guys. Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Don't look for him no more beyond this point. <laughs> All right, guys, here on YouTube, she has got so much content for you. And I don't know about you guys, but I can listen to her talk for days. My favorite look is this look that she did where she recreated a set that Kylie Jenner was spotted wearing. It was black, but she, girl, she did it in this green and I'm here for it. Yes, I am. So on the yellow and orange and green and purple areas, those are gonna be Sally's patches. So I'm creating the classic stitches on there with a bit of black solid cream from Model 1s. I will cure it and then top coat that section only with shiny top coat. And I will be filing all of my free edges to create that crisp look. So now let's move on to Oogie Boogie or Oogie Boogie. It really depends on who you talk to. Here I am aligning his face with some black and I thought, oh man, this is gonna come through on camera. Eh, wrong. But I figured I'd share the process regardless. So here you go. So I cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then this, I think I created it with a bit of yellow and white. And this is going to be the base color for um, for Oogie. Um, and once I have his, basically his flesh area, I mean, he's a, he's a burlap sack, isn't he? But once I have that all filled in, <laughs> I will be carrying that for a full 60 seconds and then I will move on to more detailing. Here's the thing, people. You know I'm a fan of dotting tool nail art. So if you can achieve it, you better do it, okay? So I'm filling in his eyes with the black and of course, definitely gonna be carrying this for a full two minutes just to be safe. I do bust in these um, brushes here and there. You guys, I was wearing those black gloves, did you see? Okay, my hands started burning. So I had to apply this hydrocortisone and just wait for it to kick in. It 
hours and I still have to continue working. So I'm just telling you, I suffered for this art, okay? Oh man, were my fingers burning, both hands. So I'm busting out my Moreca brushes and I, you know guys, get them from Amazon, they're $8.99, I'm just saying. So I'm drawing his tongue. Which, you know, can you call it a tongue? It's a snake. The snake has an eye. The snake has a snake tongue. So if your tongue has a tongue, what really are you? Anyway, um, the base is going to be brown. I shape his entire body and his head. And then I come in with a brighter yellow. I think this is solid cream from Model 1s. Um, but any yellow will do. And I'm just doing the head and then sort of filling in other parts of him that are yellow to just basically create the finished look. I am not gonna lie, it took a while for me to see the vision here. So um, let me know in the comment section at what, like, I don't know, do like a timestamp or something or try to remember what I was working on before when you s decided to say, okay, well, I'm starting to see it. I'm seeing vision, Lisa. So now I'm drawing the snake's mouth, his tongue, his eye. I mean, your tongue has a tongue. There's something that don't sit right with me on that one. Oh guys and thank you so much for your comments on my ahs video and on the other girls videos and just following and subscribing and supporting us and liking you guys are awesome so awesome now some of these colors i don't remember but i do remember this one this is model one's solid cream and at first i was going to leave patches of oogie this yellow color and i was like ew gross that's not gonna work for me so i started smearing christmas tree all over it in a very thin thin layer and I don't know, it just, it added to the depth. Just wait till the end. And then I'm taking this sort of like fluorescent green. It's like super highlighter, but also jelly. And I'm applying it in certain areas. And this is where I'm coming in with the shading. Oh yeah, details, my friends, details. And here's Christmas tree again, and I'm just applying it in very concentrated areas to add the depth, the uh, you know, just a lot of the stuff, the usual stuff that I do um, that are subtle, but, you know, super effective, I think. And as I'm doing this, I cure for sometimes 60 seconds to a full two minutes um, just to make sure that everything is nice and sound and cured. Now, there I did have an inspiration photo, which I will put up right here, but there were some... I guess you could see some of the thread count on the burlap sack on that photo. So I really wanted to bring that to life. So I did add a few of those on with some solid gel cream from Model 1s and my Moreca detail brush. So now I'm filling out his mouth and his mouth is legit black. You know, it's an endless woe for anyone who should be caught in it. I don't know if he ate. I don't think he ate people in the movie because I watched it. But if he if he did want to, it'd be pretty dramatic. So I do the entire mouth and then I cure for a full two minutes and then I apply a thin layer of black still and now I'm coming in with a dark purple, just a dollop of that and then a lighter purple in the middle. Now I don't know if you remember my dragon nail from the last spotlight challenge but I created an eye using this technique where I just pull from all around those um, that uncured gel and because there's a thin layer of black down there as well it's also helping for that gel to spread and create the sort of um far away in a distance glow that oogie has in his mouth from the inspo pick so this is this is a really cool technique i mean i made an entire dragon eye out of it i'm doing this like fun glowy section in his mouth so yeah on a, a thin layer of uncured black poly um polish dark purple then a dollop of light and then just pull at your leisure yeah a really cool kind of blend i love it and then i cure that for definitely a full two minutes because you don't want that to not be cured okay and so finally i will be outlining oogie with a you know a thick layer of the model one solid cream in number one in the black and even his outlining was detailed you guys it went from black to white to purple oh yeah me and ogi we got we got to know each other very well when we were doing this 
So um, don't leave any section out on, not on outlined if you can avoid it. So here I'm coming in with the white. And I'll say, as I was doing this challenge as well as last week's challenge, I'm falling more and more in love with these Moreca brushes, you guys. I'm telling you. So I'm going in with a with that purple, doing a full cure of two minutes right after this, just the last, you know. Mm, and then I go in with Gershon's top coat and cure for another two minutes. And that's Oogie done. Now, let's add a few of his little well-known features, shall we? Here go his dices. And it's just going to be those two dice on the snail. And all the artwork is going to be shiny while the backdrop, the glitter, remains muted. Oh, I know you guys are like bummed, right? Because you can't really see the hollow part. Uh, you'll be okay. You'll survive. You'll survive. So once I've got the shape, I will outline the dice and we'll start to see this um, evolve over time. So I was looking at this dice, right? And I was like, why does it look like it have wonky shapes on it? Like what? But there are weird shapes on there. So I had to draw like some like spooky ghost shapes and some like something that looked like a peanut. And then after that, then I was able to add the actual dots indicating the number the dice rolled on. So after that, I cured for like a full 60 seconds. And then I'm adding this cool little glowy feature that again, I saw on the photo. Um, and this is just a bit of yellow, little subtle detailing. And now I'm top coating that, as I mentioned, the art's gonna be top coated, the backdrop's gonna remain muted for that glitter. And then I cure for one minute and boom, that nail is done. Here is the fun part. I wanted to do some spider webs, but oh my gosh, can we say spider webs are outdated, but somehow they still work? Well, I wasn't about to be doing the same spider webs everybody else was doing. So here are my spider webs. Yeah, a little something different. The lines are thicker on certain areas. Some of them aren't actually like going straight across in that curved way. And um, yeah, I was really, really happy with this. And of course, where there's a web, there is a spider. My spider had to be slightly different as well. Um, the area, the bottom part was a little bit wonky. The thorax, yes, my fifth grader is doing science. Um, <laughs> and then I'm adding a bit of, you know, I mean, it has eight legs. I counted just to make sure. And then I took this brush and then I had to add a bit of the fuzz for the, I mean, can you call it fur on a spider? I don't know. It looks like fur, a little bit of fuzz and then wait for it. Cause I know you guys are all mad about the muted glitter. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. No, I love you guys. Cause you love glitter. Boom. I top coated the spider web. Cause I mean, come on, man. It was high. We had to showcase that hollow glitter. We had to. So I'm moving on to the mayor and I'm filling in his outline and I want to introduce you guys to Jennifer. You guys, can you please go follow her, go subscribe, go like, go comment. Can you please? Oh my gosh. It has been so great getting to meet her. Here's her Instagram. You guys look at the art that she's creating. She's a, oh, she loves poly gel just like me, but look at this cute shorty set. You know, I love a shorty. You know I love a shorty. What I loved about this set is that the flowers were muted. Like she did not shiny top coat that. So I'm just saying, you guys go and check her out. There's so much more looks that I did not cover that are definitely worthwhile. And she's such a good person. I feel like if you guys had the opportunity to talk to these women like I talked to them, I don't know, man. It is just good to be in the presence of full on support and love. So whether they want it or not, I'm sure they want it because they're awesome. I love them. They're going to just have to deal with it. Mm, can't get rid of me. <laughs> so we have added quite a bit over um, on the mayor, his hat, the brim, his teeth, his gums, all that. Let's focus on these weird eyes. Like, dude, could you figure that out? One is a full circle. The other one is like this weird spiral. Like, where are we going on the trail that your eye leads us to? Are we going to find our way back? I don't know. So there was an inspo pick for this as well. I will put it up here and give the artist's credit. At the very least, I can show the picture and I can mention that it's not mine. I don't know that I found a lot of names for the artwork. So here's his crazy nose and I've switched to another Moreca brush, y'all. These are good brushes. I'm not going to shut up about them because I'm gonna be using them the entire challenge. Now for his other eye, um, I just did individual strokes of black because I didn't want to fill it in because it wasn't exactly filled in. There was like fleshy areas still showing. So here 
is some of Jennifer's content here on YouTube. Um, I love, what I did love is that one of the first videos that I watched of her was when she was practicing her um, acrylic beads. Yeah, and here she is executing some more shorties. I feel, okay, so I am in love with her short looks. I love her long looks too, but when you find people that can just do shorties, you just wanna see them do more shorties, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, I am adding some brown, some tan, some this and that to add detail to the mayor's face. And clearly, I did a lot. This really cool technique that I loved and noticed from the art was that it was almost like it was a rough sketch, the picture. So I tried to recreate that by doing individual strokes of black here and there, and then also doing that with darker colors um, on top of a color that I've used. So if I did a light gray, then I'll do a darker gray with the strokes and then add black on top of it. And I did tan on his face, I did a darker, a darker tan, and now I'm adding black strokes on his face. And so now we are outlining this guy. So y'all tell me how y'all's doing. Has anyone started decorating for Halloween? I mean, I. it's not that I don't because I don't want to, I just don't because... I don't have Halloween decorations. Isn't that sad? It's sad and depressing. It really is. But, and I also live in an apartment. Not that they would care, but I don't even, my, ugh, I'm gonna just leave that there. But if I ever get my own house, I would totally decorate like it was no one's business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I would do it. So now we are outlining quite a bit more and I thought this was super important because he has these like crevices on his face. Dude is like, he's got a meaty face for someone who's technically, is he dead? I think he's dead, but also alive. I don't know. Anyway, you guys saw the inspo pic. So you know that there's quite a bit of these detailed lines and look how this brush is gliding. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, I know they're pretty much all the same brushes being sold, but it costs more people to source them. But these are the ones I grabbed first. So I love these. Yeah. Okay, so a bit more detail on that eye. Again, I'm adding those individual stripes, but it's just with thicker material. This is the thick number two solid, number one solid cream from Model Ones in black. So this is how I'm gonna be able to add that really in-depth detail. Um, I forgot to put a yellow, a, just a dot of yellow in the center of this eye. I will never forgive myself for it. And neither should you. No, I'm just kidding. We're over it. We're over it as soon as we noticed it. <laughs> Ain't nobody was going back to that. What? This set took me like... Well, I started it a few weeks back, if I'm being honest. Just the French tips took me like a whole night to do. Not really, I was being lazy. And that was like a week back and these took me like i think the individual sets of five took me like a night each yeah so i did oogie's set of five well set of three first and then that took me like a night i started pretty late like 10 ish and then the mayor took me also a night and i also started pretty late like 10 ish so yeah yep 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 rooney so uh if you guys haven't giving it a like by now i don't know maybe you know just i don't know give us a like appreciate ya <laughs> okay so the teeth yeah 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 his teeth are weird they're weird so i wanted to highlight that weirdness okay they're gonna start curving in certain areas i'm gonna start drawing like random lines on them to give them depth do you see how crooked and weird his teeth are and he's always doing this weird creepy smile so i definitely want to pay attention to his teeth and I'm not gonna lie I surprised myself with this art because I don't know what was going on with me last week but it's it's over I guess at least for now so on the mayor's necktie sort of it's a spider I don't know I'm creating that little bit of red detail and I will be carrying that and because the mayor is all done, it's time to top coat his fabulous self. And I'll be doing that with Gershon and then curing for a full 60 seconds. So let's do the mayor's ribbon. Yeah, let's do his ribbon. I'm using a bit of, I would say this is like a mannequin yellow. Just add a little bit of yellow into white. Boom, you're done. Use your dotting tool and then add a bit of black to red and draw the outline of 
the ribbon and then just start filling it in. Give that a full two minutes cure just to be safe. Um, and then you can, I guess, get ready with your black because we're going to outline this. We're going to add a bit more detail to this. It's going to really be woken up by the time you guys are, um, you know, times you see the end of it. Oh, you guys, don't forget to check the description box for links to all of our social media and links to our videos from last week. So here I'm just adding a very light amount of black gel polish to create shadowing on different parts of the ribbon. And now it's time to outline this bad boy. Super neat with the outlines, but when we start moving into the artwork a bit more to add like darker details, it will get a bit messy to keep in theme with the original inspo pick. But man, do I love how this brush glides across the nail surface. Oh my gosh. Guys, don't forget to take the time to go and visit Sweet Tea Nails. Go ahead and check out Rochelle's Nail Glam. Go ahead and check out Easy Nails. Be sure to check out Raven's Nail Arts Reviews. Go ahead and check all of us out because we are all attempting this challenge. We are all in support of each other. So check out all the videos just like you did so supportingly last week. Thank you guys so, so much. Like, share, comment. And, um... Shout outs to Nayeli and Jennifer again for choosing our theme. Be sure to support them. Um, yes, guys, amazing women. I'm so glad I've had the chance to get to know them and, and be in full support of them and have them be in full support of me. We got a little group. It's cool. It's not exclusive, but you know, we're just like, oh my gosh, people like you exist. And then we're like, oh my gosh, are there more? That's how we feel. <laughs> so here I'm writing out the word mayor, you know, because let's let's tag this dude. Let's label him. And then after that, I will be top coating this nail. And on the flip side, I did an upside down spider web on the other nail on this hand. So it's the end of the video, guys. I will be top coating. I'd like to remind you to continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Follow me on social media. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to all of us. Follow all of us on social media. It's been so great to do this challenge with you guys watching. Please look forward to a video and picture of the finished look. I love you guys for watching and I promise to see you in the next one. See you next week, guys. Bye.